Hey everyone, welcome to a new video on New Talent of FBB YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be focusing on five of my favorite Instagram accounts that I like to follow um, in terms of my five uh, kind of favorite athletes that I like to follow on Instagram. Now I've chosen these athletes for a number of reasons. Obviously they all have great physiques. Um, I admire their dedication, very motivational a lot of them. Uh, some of them just post some really funny stuff, whether that be memes or actual videos with themselves in. And thirdly, a lot of them are very, very educational. So whether they share tips about uh, working out in a gym, working out in home um, gyms, you know, with obviously lockdowns happening around the world, um, nutrition, uh, prepping for competitions, uh, what it's like in the off season compared to competition season, that sort of thing. So. They're five quite different accounts. You'll probably recognize quite a few of them. As you can see from my following there at the top, it is very much quantity over quality in terms of who I follow. I don't just follow a bunch, bunch of different athletes. I do like to uh, I do like to follow ones that I kind of get a lot from. So guys, yeah, uh, subscribe below to the channel. Make sure you follow all of um, the athletes featured in this video as well. I will put direct links to their Instagram accounts in the description. Obviously their usernames will be on the page as I go through, but a direct link will be in the description. So yeah, guys, hope you enjoy this video and let me know in the comments what accounts you like to follow. All right, so the first account I wanted to preview is one of my absolute favorites and that's Julia Delo. Um, I've really seen her account grow from hundreds to the low thousands right up to look 48.2 thousand followers there uh, yep so she goes by redhead muscle um, so that's at redhead muscle again her uh, link to her direct page will be in the description below so she's actually a mechanical engineer she just graduated college quite recently got the natural bodybuilding there in the uh, profile and also she's looking at getting some coaching going and everything she's got a direct email there um, for any reasonable requests, inquiries, that sort of thing. Um, she has a YouTube channel as well. It's not the most active, but I think she's looking at getting that going as well. So yeah, she's, I mean, incredibly beautiful woman looking at some of these pictures, but just a really, really humble uh, person as well. I've had the opportunity to talk to her on a number of occasions and, you know, she always responds to, she always responds to her DMs if you're respectful. Um, she's always always keen to um, engage in bodybuilding chat um, so yeah it's really awesome seeing her progress over the years she's just started up a TikTok, um, so give her a like over there also redhead muscle um, i really love this pose that she does this uh, most muscular i think it really highlights the the quality of her traps and her delts she's got a really nice shape with her delts and her biceps and all that um, amazing guitar and singing as well you, you should check out some of some of those videos there um, just like a really really cool really cool chick basically um, I had the opportunity to email her for my website newtalentsfbb.com um, where she was very candid um, really enjoyed speaking to her and having her answer answer my questions so you can see she's from the US 22 years old um, and the interesting thing about her actually is whilst she loves um, lifting go to gym everything she doesn't actually have a huge amount of interest to compete right now um, so as you can see um, in my question when was your first show how was experience she hasn't actually competed in a show yet um, she finds competitors and bodybuilders quite different um, obviously quite different mindsets quite different goals um, so and if you don't enjoy being a bodybuilder or the bodybuilding lifestyle you're not gonna be able to compete in the long term um, so she works a pretty typical job favorite body parts to train she loves push days and you can see with a lot of her pictures um, she has really nice development um, in her chest and her upper back amazing built upper back amazing width you can see the definition coming in there as well great lats as well um, and she doesn't actually have any sponsors at the minute so shout out to people do get in touch with Julia about sponsoring I love this picture um, of graduation. It's not every every day you see you graduating. <laughs> graduation with the most muscular pose with your graduation hat on. Love that. Um, so yeah, as I said before, she's a really, really down-to-earth athlete. Really easygoing. Um, and she was quite candid in the interview about actually being quite unhappy with her body 
in kind of her late teens um used to play sports in high school and really kind of got into bodybuilding from about 18 onwards and you can see she's made some amazing progress there you can see just the actual tone of her muscles um night and day really really awesome um, she mainly posts images. She doesn't post a lot of pictures of her actually working out, like in the gym, um, but it's mainly images. Um, and she does post some funny stories as well. So yeah, she's one of my she's one of my favorite Instagram accounts to look at. I probably do come across her page most days. Um, so yeah, make sure you give her a follow. Um, yeah, look at that. I love the shape of her delts. Really nice sculpted delts. Yeah, super cool athlete and um, really worth a follow. So the next account I wanted to profile is Macy uh, Tony. So she's actually a women's physique pro. She's the only pro that I will be featuring in this video. Um, and what's really cool is she actually made her pro debut this year. I mean, we're talking literally weeks ago um, where she competed in two shows. Obviously she was due to compete in 2020, but with COVID canceling a lot of the events, she wasn't able to step on stage for her pro debut. But uh, she's someone I've been following for a number of years. And again, much like I said with Julia, comes across as a very, very humble person, uh, really keen competitor. She um, was very competitive with cheerleading before she had quite a bad Achilles injury and that transitioned into bodybuilding. I find cheerleading and gymnastics, those kind of sports, provide such a good base for building muscle. So you can see from when she was from high school up, she was already kind of building good quality muscle. Um, so yes, yeah, as I said, she's a very humble athlete. Um, but what I love absolutely the most about her is the she has such a passion for the actual posing and the routine side of bodybuilding. Um, I just love the videos that she posts of her posing practice. Um, the, So as you can see her posing, it's so intentional. She really makes every single muscle stand out and that comes from practice. Um, I've spoken to her about this before. Like if you, if you do not practice your posing, you will not place well in shows. So yeah, she brings her kind of gymnastic cheerleading background onto the stage, her passion for dance. And it really shows because that is something that she has over all the other competitors. Um, yeah, so she gets in fantastic conditioning for physique. Um, I think in her last show, she was actually one of the slightly smaller competitors. Um, she is only five foot, so she's small in stature, but obviously you can see by her development, huge arms, amazing delts, great chest. Um, but yeah, so look at that first stage shot. Beautiful symmetry. Um, you can see the glute tie in there, great biceps, lats, the upper back, very dense muscle. And yet, as I said, she brings such quality posing to the stage. She's a joy to see on there. I won't click on any of the uh, videos from from the show, obviously respect to the owners of that. So shout out to HD Physiques, she did an amazing photo shoot with them just after her show. Um, but yeah, I love this, I mean look at her abs in this one, look at her quads and everything, really brings the whole package to the stage. Um, yeah, super humble competitor. I did try and get in touch with her about an interview. Um, we did part of it, but obviously she was so much in her, she was so deep into her show prep. That kind of hasn't materialized at the moment. Hope to uh, revisit that at some point. But yeah, she's definitely worth watching um, in terms of her workout videos. She posts quite a lot, um, obviously working out the different muscles, both in on and off season. She's not afraid to kind of show her physique during the off season, which is really cool. Um, and as you can see, she's got a huge following, 92.7 thousand followers. And yeah, very open to DMs. Again, if you're respectful, got a bunch of sponsors. She's also a real estate agent by day. So she's a super busy woman. I think she's getting married soon as well. Um, shout out to her fiance, Dylan Bilt. Um, they seem to make a wonderful couple. So yeah, give her a follow if you don't already. So the third Instagram account that I'm profiling today in this video is Jennifer Katra. Uh, she's just 19 years old from Canada. And I follow her for 
kind of a different reason to a lot of the others because I'm just blown away at how knowledgeable she is about training and bodybuilding. Um, she is just so passionate um, about the sport. Um, she's she does one-on-one -on -one coaching. You can see there's a, a link there to get in touch. Um, but she's she's someone who I've enjoyed talking with about kind of purely bodybuilding, finding out about her journey. You know, she's training for her first show this year. It was a second show maybe. Um, it's the first time she's had kind of a proper off season, um, and she's looking. She, she's made some amazing gains. Um, let me look at that back. Like amazing width. You can see the fantastic V shaper there. Um, the width of her upper back to her waist is obviously the absolute goal of the female bodybuilding physique right there. Same with the men, the whole tight waist, but um, yeah, she just looks fantastic. She posts a lot of videos of her actually working out, um, and quite often in the description she'll actually have like uh, some information about what she's doing, why she's doing it, any steps you might need to take to kind of enhance the engagement with the particular muscle group, that sort of thing. Um, and she has posted some really awesome things, I think it's in her reels, um, in terms of training during lockdown, maybe it's the IGTV. Yep, so she has a lot of tips for like staying in shape during lockdown, she debunks some fitness myths, specifically how to hip thrust, obviously a huge workout amongst female bodybuilders and like bikini athletes, that kind of thing. Um, so she's just so knowledgeable, all of these highlights up here have uh, some real quality content. Um, she's really not into the whole kind of working out in the skimpiest outfit type thing. She goes in what she's comfortable with and she's just there to lift heavy, uh, lift well. And yeah, she's a really, really motivating athlete. As you can see, she's lifting some heavy dumbbells there. Um, but yeah, I've been in touch with her and she's super open, um, trying to set up a, a full interview with her for the website as well. But yeah, she's got like a pretty solid home gym as well. Obviously, while gyms were closed during a lockdown in Canada, she just kept super busy at home and posted a lot of useful information lockdown-wise. You can see the kind of transformation she's made there from 2016 to 2020. And you can see this is the motto she lives by. Left no reps in the tank. Ate all my meals. Patience, no excuses. She's super big on staying dedicated, setting goals and just following through. So she's a really good account to follow, especially if you're kind of just looking to get started on your bodybuilding or fitness journey. Um, and she's always open to like questions and just general bodybuilding chat. Okay, next I'm looking at Dylan is growing, Dylan Crenshaw. Um, decent following up there, 34.4 thousand followers. She follows quite a lot of people as well. Likes a lot of the other athletes that I've featured, have had quite a good time chatting with Dylan on and off. Again, very knowledgeable, much like uh, Jen Catra. Um, she's got a pretty cool Discord that you can join, which she runs with a couple of other female bodybuilders and they post some good stuff on there. And she has a Instagram account of her own as well, Muscle Girl Society. So shout out to them. Um, they post pretty much on a daily basis. Um, they post quite a lot of good stuff, got a good following as well. Um, yeah, so it's these are the admins. Um, yeah, and they're posting daily content of female athletes and bodybuilders. Um, so much like Julia Delo, she was kind enough to grant me an interview. You can see just 19 years old. Um, and yeah, she's super open about her goals, why she trains, that sort of thing. I love the most muscular pose she hits. It is her favorite. Um, people who follow her account, I'm sure you are not surprised to find that out. Um, yeah, she's kind of buoyed on by Arnold Schwarzenegger, seeing him on TV, that sort of thing. Um, and she, what I found probably most interesting is that she wants to look like Julia Fiore, who's an absolute beast, as she says. Um, Swedish bodybuilder, she's always looked up to her and Maida since she was 16 years old. So she's been really keen to be kind of a huge bodybuilder since quite a young age. Um, what I find also super interesting is that she doesn't really have a lot of interest to step on the stage. Uh, she's all about kind of bodybuilding in the gym, doing it for herself. She's not necessarily interested in actually getting up on the stage. Yeah, so she's a super cool, super cool girl like all of the others featured. She's at, sitting at 180 pounds at the moment, so I mean that's huge. Um, but yeah, she posts a lot of flexing videos, a lot of most muscular. 
um, looks awesome, amazing. She has amazing traps, just a just um, a really built upper body in general. Um, yeah, kind of most muscular in most videos. Yeah, so you can see all her muscles come out when she just hits that pose. Yeah, she's just enjoying life. She's just recently finished high school, um, working, working in a gym, obviously getting her workouts in, awesome traps, loves to show those off. Um, I think most people who kind of follow female bodybuilding on Instagram will, will have come across Dylan. Um, I think she's a staple on most people's followers lists. So last but certainly not least, is uh, Fauve Bouchard. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. She is French Canadian um, in her early 20s, 21 I believe, and she's another one who I've been following for quite a while since since she was about 17. I followed her Instagram account, um, and she's one of the accounts I was talking about at the beginning who posts some actually really funny stuff, whether that's videos of herself or just kind of gym memes in general. Um, she's a really entertaining Instagram account. So yeah, have a look through those highlights. Um, she's a junior national champion in Canada at the 63 kilogram category for powerlifting. And you can see she came fourth at the IPF Worlds in 2019. Um, she's another one I've spoken to about competing in bodybuilding. Um, it's not necessarily for her. It's something she might think about down the line. But at the moment, she's focused on hitting those heavy lifts. So she posts a lot of cool videos of her lifting heavy. Such as this. Look at that. 440 pounds. 425 pounds 345 so this is obviously the 345 she's doing that for five reps so you've got the wide stance really awesome let's see it gets heavier and heavier so that's really cool she's hits the bench press as well i mean really really awesome physique i think she used to run like track in high school and stuff so she's kind of carried on that i'd say she doesn't necessarily have the typical power lifter body because she's actually She's actually got like a slim, very slim waist and quite um, a lot of pictures on here. I've seen that she has abs as well. I want to find an example for you. So it doesn't post a lot of just outright flexing. Um, but yeah, I can see some abs there. Um, yeah, so it's an example, abs. Look at that, yeah, there you go. So really awesome abs, especially for power lift. I mean, I know they use their core a lot for a lot of the lifts, but they don't tend to have the kind of shredded midsection that Falv has. So yeah, she posts a lot of herself actually doing the lifts, which is really cool. So you can pick up that power lifting technique. I um, mean, she posts a lot of funny stuff as well. Um, so yeah, she is well worth a follow. Um, it's very open in her DMs as well. Likes a laugh, always happy to have a joke, likes to talk bodybuilding and power lifting. And yeah, that rounds off my top five. Um, hope you enjoyed it. And make sure you follow all the featured athletes in this video. All their Instagram accounts will be listed in the video description. Um, thank you and yep, see you next time.